Welcome to this interview. My name is John Njovu. I'm from Evao Indigenous. I'm a founder member and I'm in charge of uh, this voice recording project. Maybe we start by knowing you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, John. My name is Dereje Mamotagai uh, from Ethiopia. I work for uh, Global Health Evaluation Service Activity and as a team leader and a senior health information system and digital health evaluation specialist. And currently, I'm the president of Ethiopia Evaluation Association. Which ethnic group do you belong to in Ethiopia? Uh, from uh, Gurage. Gurage is in southern region. Southern regional is almost more than 56 ethnic group. So Gurage is one of, from the total of that ethnic group, group from the furthest of the southern region in terms of population and geographical coverage. Or oh, is that group only in Ethiopia or is also in other countries? No, in just in okay. Ethiopia, yes. Are you a member of Venevope? So I'm the leader of Ethiopian Evaluation Association and also I'm a part and a parcel of the VOP. So that myself, the vice president and the treasury are the part and parcel of this uh, Africa, Evaluation, Africa Evaluation Association. Uh, what does the indigenous mean to you? You know, indigenous for me is almost original, native, or it's natural or local. That, that is the context what I understood from indigenous. That is based on the local understanding. Uh, do you have any word meaning monitoring and the evaluation in your ethnic language? You know, our, uh, you know, my ethnic background is Gurage, but majority of the Ethiopians, we speak Amharic. Amharic is the dominant language. Next, the, the Amharic is the first one, then Oromifa, Tigrinya, and also Guraginya, also the ethnic group that people can be able to communicate easy. So that mm -hmm. in Amharic, what we say, monitoring is Ketete. Evaluation means Mizena or Gimgama. Okay. That's very good. So where yep. did you learn about indigenous evaluation? From the indigenous evaluation, I can say that I start based on my background history. So in the Bible, you know, in Genesis number two, verses one, mm -hmm. after creating the world, that the, you know, Jesus work several activities starting from the first day up to the sixth day then yes. he he take rest on the sixth day and he's thinking taking rest and evaluate what he, ha he has done the the concept start from that understanding and but in addition to that yes. when it come to the co the local context we learn it indigenous learning from local uh, government local uh, government from non-governmental organization, from UN organization, from private or consulting firm. But our evaluation starts from the Bible. That is my understanding from the context based okay. on your race. Uh, it's written in the Bible. And then yep. monitoring, we don't find it uh, coming out of the Garden of Eden. There was no monitoring there because the they two first human beings were left alone. <laughs> so do you have any indigenous evaluation practice in your ethnic group which you can cite as an example? Evaluation practice as an example, for, let, me, let me give you from local context what I'm, I'm living in the community. This is a community that I, I live here. Yes, yes. So in our, in our community, you know, usually people are practicing evaluation, but you know, you know, when they are, they are practicing evaluation, it yes. is not as such is based on the scientific modality, but this is based on um, uh, their practice. For example, when things happen, for example, something 
message come from the local authority so that okay. they you know issues came to from the local authority or some of the issue from the community probably okay. some problems let me give you one example as an example some uh, malaria case unexpected malaria case happened in the community so that okay. you know as a community there is a community focal community groups that is block leaders these block leaders first they collect the information that is might be rumor or from organized information that information okay. first generated from the community and came up to the block leaders so those okay. block leaders first they need to understood is this this information is it a rumor or actual problem happen yeah. so that based on that information they try to arrange what are, what is that information first the place that happened the area then the time and who was affected is it ch children mothers all the groups young group so they based on that they identify that information and they need to respond to the local health authority some of the intervention might be at community level community can act for example for malaria might be draining or for using uh, mosquito nets so repellent or the other interventions but if that is the, the malaria case might be happen if it's unexpected number so immediately they they responded to the health authority that is the decision who normally requests uh, for evaluations why are they being carried out who is involved how is it done and who was it for in the normal case where you do evaluations in your practice in my practice the first thing who requested it is depends on the demand from different organizations that might be local government or non governmental organization or donors or consulting firm or private company this might be that they might be requesting for evaluation why was the kk ready out you know in general to answer some of the evaluation questions that evaluation questions concern that might be the relevance area or appropriateness the other might be or in terms of sustainability that might be that is the evaluation question but the purpose is to generate learning experience one the second one is to support accountability you know that accountability supports achievement of our objectives and the other one is to obtain independent you know evaluation is an independent assessment so obtain independent observation about the program performance of the project including the activity um, achievement or challenges during the, uh, the the implementation and also lesson learned during uh, that implementation in addition to that it might be you know usually during uh, mid term evaluation of the program it might help to generate lesson learned from the project that to inform and there is the correct cor uh, the inform course of correct corrective action because in between probably the project might be 5 years so in between it might be conducting on the, the second year or third year so that you need to correct that one that to find the program plan activity and also approach for the remaining years that that also another important thing in general for also for donors who also gave some funding arrangement for the pro for your project it might help to generate lesson to guide the donors strategy for the future that is the idea to help for decision making so the other area is who was involved that based on your question for any evaluation activity different stakeholders might be engaged those who are interested might be donors government local government non governmental organization or the private sectors these are the funders the primary users the beneficiaries and those who are interested in that evaluation that might be a part and parcel of that evaluation so the other question that based on your that you raise is how was it done that's a very important thing so the area of methodology is very important for your evaluation so different methods and design might be used for different evaluation but the good approach is better to use 
a combination of qualitative and quantitative approach. That might be, you know, qualitative, you can prove new ideas from the community. The quantitative might be measuring in terms of quantity, but it cannot be able to address the ideas, the views, the concept, the perception. So that that's why it might be important. For this one, there is a primary data. This primary data can be get from the key format interviews or focus group or from okay. assessment. And uh, in, from the secondary data, you might get also from a document review, from plan versus achievement. Uh, this, this might be also and from the from project project document. The other uh, I, idea idea is for might be case study also might be helpful. So in, in this uh, context, I think this is the idea that I have from my side. That is briefly my experience in terms of who is who uh, request why it was carried out and who was involved and how it be done. When uh, was an Thank evaluation you. done really well and what worked for local people? In general, the evaluation, a well-planned evaluation was done more, it's very important is to benefit, it, it benefits, benefit, uh, benefit for all stakeholders than an evaluation. That's very important key concept because it, it might be very helpful for uh, the stakeholders who might be benefited. You know, the good evaluation, if you are conducting good evaluation, the good characteristics, there are a lot of characteristics, but I can give you some of the examples. It tailored to your program, especially building the capacity as well as experience in knowledge and resource. And the other concept is in terms of inclusion, inclusiveness, participatory. It's very important. The other one is you, when you are conducting that your evaluation, you should have to be honest. When you say honest, you should have to clearly state the strengths as well as the weakness. That might be helping to resolve the problems. And the other areas, your evaluation needs to be replicable. Otherwise, it will not be helping for you. So that, that is a very important idea or concept. But what, the other issue, that question that you raise, what works for local people? You know, when we are conducting the, uh, the, the project, as an organization will help especially people to learn from their day-to-day -day activity. Because people are there working a lot of assignments in agriculture, in health, in education, so that they can learn a lot of things from the evaluation. They, they, you know, while monitoring is the first thing, so you need to ongoing activity, so that when you come to evaluation, how can we achieve? So is there any gap? So that will be helping for, yeah, in, in addition to that, it, it assists the effectiveness of your piece of work have we achieved or not so that is very important to address